Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, last time we were reunited with everyone's favorite hero, Snow. Yay. Wait, what? It's me. What's up? You damn well know what's up! There are phones in this Why game? Haven't you called in? Sorry, slip well, my mind. There are phones, right. as in What's your two status? of them. Great. You're looking at great. them. Hopes it's not a too. phone, it's a toothbrush. Are you alright? I'm great, you're great, everybody's great. I like this lady. Union time. What? Uh, figure out a rendezvous point. Don't sweat it. That line's hyper encrypted. Hyper encrypted? Uh, well, you see, regular encryption sense. wouldn't be Is nearly good enough. I'm not your sister. It's like. 4096 quantum bit encrypted or something, I don't know. Probably quantum something. This city's under our jurisdiction. We're the ones defending it. We should have a say in what's done to protect it. Attention all There's the other phone in this game. Ignore all fire zone restrictions. Fire at will. What? Whatever it takes to kill the lessee. Yogg's Bluetooth. Whatever it takes! You wanna start a war in the streets? So uh, arguments over jurisdiction. Hey, do you remember when we were not quite sure whether or not Yogg was a good guy? Who do you think it is? Let me guess, he's a bad guy, right? But he's got a sword. I I don't know, I'm just saying, there's only one guy here who's saying to ignore fire rest restrictions and just shoot at will. And it's not the Guardian Corps. Not to mention, he's the only guy there who's dressed in a black trench coat and has silver hair. And the sword. Don't forget the sword. Felix Heights, thirty-five. Also, this is a great plan. See you there. Tell Fang Hey. Hmm. Take care of Hope. All over it. <laughs> and I'll tell you more about Sarah when we meet up. I found out she can turn back. There's still hope. Really? Snow. They are not Listen letting that joke go. It's about Hope. His mother was. It's me. I Hope? What? Hope! Answer me! Oh yeah, hyper encrypted. Hope. Damn it, Hope. Doesn't fix it. It's called interference. Congratulations. Two cell phones in the entire world. I've got and now they're busted. In behind. Great so job on that. Off that head of yours. So here, it looks like Hope is imploding again. I was gonna say, Snow probably crushed it when he tried to hand it over to Hope. So, uh, we are now playing as Fang. Sweet. Fang seems pretty okay. Yep, she, uh, immediately we can see that she is, uh, she's got Commando, S Sentinel, and Saboteur. She, uh, she's not a very good Saboteur, but she's better than nothing. She'll do in a pinch. Yeah, like, right now the only thing she can do is cast slow, which is admittedly very good, but, yeah. Basically, Fang is here to fill that mold of that one character who's in every JRPG, who's only there to appeal to people who don't like JRPGs. Which is why she's the only one who ever says things like, Oh my god, well you guys just shut up and let's get moving already. So, somewhere like Fang. Um, it's not immediately obvious, but uh, she's not quite as good of a sentinel as Snow is. But she is the best commando in the game, so... Yeah, she doesn't have Snow's obscene hit point total. Which is a bit of a liability when you're, you know, taking hits for everyone. But yeah, Fang, like, I, I, when I played this game I always had Fang in my party when I could help it. I think she was my leader. Yeah, that was kind of the same way with me when I was going through it the whole time. Fang was, if not the leader, definitely a mainstay of the active party for me. Everyone likes Fang. Well, it's mostly because, I mean, personality aside, she is an obscenely good character. Yeah. And there's, there's a couple of nifty equipment options that work really well on her that we won't get to see for a very, very, very long time because of the fucking crafting system. But hey... Yeah, now we can see one of these guys proper. Uh, he is susceptible to slow, and as you can guess, slow is the absolute best ailment in this entire game. God, yes. 
Um, and this is a game that is all about going fast, and when you can destroy your enemy's ATB regeneration, then you have got it made. Because you are literally getting twice as many turns as them. The only way you can make this any better is if you also have haste on your guys. Which is totally possible, we just don't have it quite yet. Well, other than that, this is just gonna be a hit point slog, isn't it? A little bit. Um, surprisingly, you see, he actually will die before we stagger him. Huh. Really? Yeah. Okay then. I still think we should have just skipped this fight. I'm still gonna bug you about just skipping fights. This is like 30 seconds. Jesus Christ, you mind so much. But it's so boring. Hey, welcome to Final Fantasy 13. Where the hell have you been for the last, like, six hours? Oh, that's fair. I, I walked into that. What am I doing here? Why did I ever agree to this? Now, now, now. Do you want me to reveal your secret, Fudul? I will reveal your secret. Oh, but... But my doctor tells me it must never be committed to print. Oh, so that is a fucked up Lacy brand. Who are you? I wonder what it could mean. Uh, where eh, that's I probably start? nothing. <laughs> I've got a few screws loose, but I'm a Lacy, same as you. Hmm? Okay. Difference being. That that's the big twist. She's not actually a Lassie, she just got that cool ass tattoo to try to fake like she is. I'm from Grand Pulse. <gasps> the world below Wait, what? you all hate so much. Oh my god. My partner and Revelation. I turned crystal there and gone to sleep. Partner? But when we came around, hmm. here we were. I wonder, do we know the anyone who might anyone else who might be from Pulse? It says it's totally Saz. I swear to God, it's Saz. Oh no, wait, no, we've just ruined this hanging block red. Okay, never mind. So now can we talk about the world's greatest stealth bum? Yes, go ahead. Well, you see, the, 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 the incredible joke is, is, is that Fang and Vanille both have like kind of Australian-sounding accents, and Australia is colloquially known as, 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 as a land down under. And, and Pulse is is beneath Cocoon, and the, and and the, and Fang and Vanille are from are from Pulse, so they're from Down Under, and their voice actors are from Down Under. Only they're not because Vanille's voice actress is actually kind of. I, I, there's there's a weird deal about her in accents, but oh my god, it's such an amazing stealth palm. Actually, what wasn't that the joke that like, Fang's voice actress is American and Vanille's voice actress is Australian and. Her voice actress got crapped on for sounding like a fake Australian, whereas Fang's voice actress was like praised for nailing the accent. I'm pretty sure this is like the third time that we've had this discussion. It's pretty much you know, voice acting .txt. Try to save everyone. Set your mark. Well, at least you guys are being consistent. So, Hope, are you with me on this? You just oh, oh Jesus, what kind of terrible plan has Snow come up with? Look out for yourself. Like stabbing Snow in the back? I can guarantee you, Snow's plan without fail is run in, scream really loudly, question mark, people die. Well, that's pretty much how all of Final Fantasy XIII goes, really. I mean, let's be honest here. So, uh, just real quick, gotta check... Gotta check your paradigms, because you never know what this game's gonna do to you on that. Yeah... Like, that that one actually didn't look too bad. Well, that, that's because they were the ones I was using earlier. Oh, okay. So it does remember. It just sometimes willfully forgets. It, it sometimes remembers, when it feels like it. Was everyone watching this will now have seen the note in the post about the weapon that we got for Snow last time that we didn't discuss. So now you know what the deal is with it. So uh, this area is actually... there are a couple 
alternate paths you can take that will let you skip a fight or two, depending on where you go. An entire fight. That's the extent of the non-linearity in this game. Hey, hey, hey. Do you not want to play hide-and-seek with the soldiers? Maybe, but I'd want to play it in a game that actually designed somewhat around that purpose. Of course, you know, skipping fights is not the Final Fantasy XIII way, so we're gonna send Snow to go murder some people instead. You gotta go get all the CP. Otherwise you won't be able to level your guys up optimally. I mean, that, that would just be a shame now, wouldn't it? Yeah, slow. You know, I gotta say, I'm amazed that these people are just casually standing by and watching as Snow beats the ever-loving hell out of all these Psycom troops. Like, sh what should be, like, right in front of their faces. Like, I don't know, just... And then after all that time, they're still here. Exactly. So we just picked up a thing and then equipped a totally different thing. Yeah, I, um... That's actually, that was actually my fault. I, I thought it was a weapon, and then it wasn't, and then I switched over to the other weapon anyway, because whatever. So it was it was a guardian amulet or something. That sounds defensive. Yeah, it's I, I don't remember what exactly what it does. It's probably like critical. Sh it's probably critical protect. Seems about right. It's always fucking critical with early Final Fantasy accessories. They can never give you an auto thing straight away, because that will just make too much sense. Oh boy. No, no, no. Snow, whatever you're doing, no. Not good. Well, at least he seems to have some self-awareness. You say that like you think you can alter his behavior in the game. Is there a problem? Now why don't you just calm down? God, God damn it, Snow. Subtle soldier. What do the five figures say to the face? Smack! I love the vaguely threatening guitar riffs going on in the background. I am oh, oh, Jesus. No, no. Well, at least he's being honest for once. That's one way to scatter a crowd. What are you doing? Yeah, that is one way to do it. What are you doing? What was that green shirt guy still doing? He was, like, chilling out there and not going anywhere. Open fire on the crowd. And now they have jetpack guys. Just wipe them all out. I guess at least he had good intentions. He did scatter the crowd before they came in to shoot everyone up. Uh, I guess even the stopped snow is a hero twice a day. I don't know where I was going with that mixed metaphor. Alright, so, uh, the aerial snipers. They're okay. The main thing they do is the, uh, ML yeah, the MLRS volley, which is just... It's just six missiles in a short variety. Its main thing is that it's an annoyance. It, it staggers you when it hits you. It seems like it would be extremely difficult to snipe from a jetpack. Yeah, especially when they're, like, sort of wobbling all over the place. And um, also, does MLRS stand for something? I'm sure it does, but fuck if I know what it is. I bet there's a data log for it. Multiple long range something or other? Yes, no, maybe? Maybe? I, I don't know. It's probably nothing. It's nobody actually cares. I don't think the people who made the thing actually cares. They just like, oh, let's just put some letters, and then just put a vaguely military-sounding word because everyone knows that military stuff is basically all just acronyms. I mean, hell, that's basically what Call of Duty does these days. We're well past the days when they actually did when they actually did research. Great stuff indeed, Hope. 
Way to go. Way to not die. Good work on that. Although, I, I forget exactly how much later it is, but at some point, not all that far off, we're going to see a lot of Hope being about to die in snow, having to save his dumbass. Which is ironic, I think. I don't know. I try not to put too much effort into my analysis of this game's characters' behaviours anymore. I think I'm learning my lesson on that front. Let's hope so. So, like, where are we? This, this looks like a shopping mall or something. Only with no shops. Everything on Cocoon looks like a shopping mall, are you kidding me? Well, yeah, remember, Fiddle, of course there are no shops, because this is... Final Fantasy XIII is in the age where Amazon took over literally everything. Then why does anyone come here? Because tourism, I guess. But what draws the tourists? The prospect of conversation? But the internet? Hey. Well, whatever. Oh, hey, look, an angry mob. I think one of them is actually holding a pitchfork. And that's how Hope got pushed over by a small child. I've got to say, that kid handled the situation remarkably well, I thought. So, um... You gonna, you gonna do something about this, Snow? Oh god, please no. Oh, oh no. No, what are you doing? Something heroic. Collateral damage away! Well, this... This is turning out pretty great. They'll never get over that. Well, do you see a glowing blue circle? I don't. They're clearly stuck there. Well, hey, he, he's improving it. This was Chapter 1 Snow. The sign would have, like, tipped over and just crushed, like, half of those people just by accident. And then someone's mum would have died. Probably that small child. That seems appropriate. Also, did a, did a soldier actually just say, empty those clips? Are you suggesting that this is not a well-written game? Yes? I mean, it's not. It's really not. Way to go, Snow. You broke the jetpack. You gotta stay ahead of him. <sighs> Jesus, this is why we can't have we anything nice. Oh, great. More walking. But it'll have to wait.